I'm just gonna give it to you straight. If you're looking for a girl who's gonna take care of you or cook you dinner or gonna provide for you, you're not gonna find that here, okay? I don't bring things to the table. You know what I bring? I bring these good looks, this hot body, and an unforgettable personality. But that's about it. Everything else is pretty much up to you. And I like it that way. I'm gonna keep it that way. So if you're looking for a girl who's gonna bring something to the table, you're not gonna find that here. And you might as well move along and not take me out. So yeah. Uh, just wanted to let you guys know that. Well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride chair extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. That's right. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a quick favor. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Por favor. <laughs> Come on. Let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay. Party people, welcome back. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button. And we had almost at a thousand subscribers, guys. And I really, really appreciate you guys sticking around and listening to me rant. Appreciate you guys. I love you. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Well, this is a special message for Gen Z, the men of Gen Z. If you're 18 to 24, please listen up because this is very important for you guys, okay? Eh? Now, as you're going through the sphere and you start to see all these influential people say this and what you need to do, how to get a girl and all that, and I'm here to tell you, all right? Your big uncle is here to tell you, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how tall you are, how buff you are, how good looking, your your game piece, your size, it doesn't matter. In the end, it doesn't matter, okay? You could be the king of lightning. You could be the son of a god, right? You could be the king of the sea. You could be Neptune. It doesn't matter. In the end, they are going to divorce you. Uh -huh. They're never happy. Right? We have an example of the god of lightning, Thor himself, Chris Hemsworth. Now, Chris Hemsworth is not an ugly guy, right? Pause. No! For intended purposes, he's a good-looking white dude. Right? He marries an older woman. His wife was, what, seven years older than him? Tried to do the right thing. They got married early. When he was just hitting his prime. When he was just hitting the um, the scene. Right? And guess what happens? Even Thor got divorced. She's not happy. Guess yes. what she says? He was abusive. <laughs> you guys... If you're 18 to 24, this is going to keep coming up and up. I don't care how sweet you are, how in tune you are with your feelings, you are abusive. If you have kids, you are going to be a deadbeat. It doesn't matter. Just get used to it. All right? It's a badge of honor, guys. So I'm just trying to prepare you guys. They was married for over 10 years. She's tired. She's 47. He's 40. And she cuts the strings. Child support. He's hurting. You know what I'm saying? He just hitting the scene, just hitting his stride. And now she wants out. All right. We have another example here. The king of the sea. Mr. Neptune himself. Jason Momoa. Who married Lisa Bonet. What a fucking idiot, dude. You are an idiot, Jason Momoa. You married Lisa Bonet, who was 12 years your senior. What? Now she's 56, you're 44, and guess what happens? After he done dropped a couple of movies as Aquaman, okay. she wants a divorce. You can't even be the king of the sea. They're never happy. So Lisa Bonet, she says that he's abusive or he's a cheater or whatever. Whatever the shit is, it doesn't matter. Jason Momoa was rated the sexiest man in America. Quote, unquote. Wow. All right. And even he married his 
childhood sweetheart. He <laughs> loves some Lisa Bonet. He was so proud of when he met her, Lisa Bonet. And guess what happens? She cuts it. She's tired of it. Okay? Gave him the walking papers. You could be the incredible Hulk. Oh, my God. Lou Ferringo. Lou Ferringo is, what, 72 years old? 72-year-old Lou Ferringo. Been married to this broad forever. And guess what happens? He's abusive. She divorced him. <laughs> well, she filed for divorce. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You could be the richest guy, Jeff Bezos. You could be a superhero. <laughs> you could be a regular guy. They are going to divorce you. They're never happy. I don't care how big your d is. I don't care your mouthpiece, your, your keeping your frame. They are going to divorce you. There's no such thing as a happy marriage. It only lasts for about, what, two years? And then she gets tired of your same old, same old. And then you're going to sit there and try to fix it. And she's going to say stuff like, uh, maybe if you take me out more, you're going to take her out more. It's still not happy. Maybe if you rub my feet, you're going to rub her feet, her crusty feet. It's still not happy. Maybe if you cuddle me more. No. Maybe if you talk to me more. Maybe you take out the trash more. No. It doesn't matter, sir. Young man, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, sir. Look at Jeff Bezos, the richest man in America, in the world almost. She's not happy. Look at what happened to Kanye West. Kanye West loved his kids. He was a billionaire. And he, even he got papers that he can't see his kids. He got to pay super duper child support to see his kids. <laughs> yeah, what you do for a living? What do you do for a living? You're a server? <laughs> You're an IT tech? And you think you got a girl now that she's going to be that same girl 10 years from now? You think she's going to be the same girl 20 years from now? Aww. You going to keep her happy for 20 years in America? Nigga, please. Nigga, please. <laughs> it doesn't matter. All right? What you need to do, once you go into a relationship, you tell her that you are non-monogamous. You can do what you want. If we get married, I am non-monogamous. But you cannot give yourself away. If you give yourself away, we're divorced. But me, I'm going to go around. You got to keep them on your toes. Keep them on their toes. Don't be tied down to her only. You got to give us a competition. Let her know there's a competition out there. But do not tie down. Do not give up your hoes for that one girl. You feel what I'm saying? 18 to 24. Do not get married in your 20s. Guys, do not get married in your 20s. Wait till your 30s, 35, and then marry somebody 10 years younger than you. Do not marry somebody the same age because that's your peer. She's going to look at you as your peer. And she's going to talk sh to you and all that. You want somebody who looks up to you, right? If you're 35, she's 25, you got a good job, you're an IT you know, supervisor or something, you're bringing in $250,000, she's going to look up to you. She's straight out of college, 24, 25. She's going to look up to you. It's going to last for about 10, 15 years, and then she's going to get tired of you and try to take half of it. But, guys, stay away from marriage. Do not do it. Do not do it. <laughs> I know you probably said looking at me because I might be jaded and all that. No, I've talked to a lot of men in this car. I talk to a lot of married men, divorced men, single men, and I'm telling you, the single life is the best life. You don't have to do the fucking, the headspace, the, the talking, and the worrying about somebody else's feelings. Don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. You, if you want kids, I get it, because I that's what got myself caught up. I wanted kids and all that. But if you want kids, have them overseas and keep them overseas. Don't bring them over here. You have better chance to see your kids overseas than here. Cause they here, she gonna play the, the, um, the court game on you and you're gonna be hurting. So you're gonna take half your money. There's a lot of men that's homeless because of divorce. A lot of men that you see in these under the bridge have been divorced and have not recovered. Yeah, there's some people with some mental health issues. Yeah, some people that are on drugs, but a lot of them are because of a bad marriage, because of bad divorce, and they have not recovered. 
Stay away from this marriage, man. It is not for the faint of heart. Anyway, or roll the dice and do what you do. The hell do I know? I'm just a driver. <laughs> if you got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. All you superheroes, get off my lawn.